Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. It is happening, it is here, the updated wardrobe tour of 2019. I am wearing my Pugna sweater. Am I wearing pants? Probably not. Let's go right into this. So I've got things more or less organized in like rainbow, purple, that, purple-ish, I don't know. You get what I'm saying, okay? It's, it's organized in the way that makes sense to me. So we're just gonna go from my left to right or your right to left, whatever way this decides to film. And we're gonna go through that. And then we've got a dresser to go through and some bins. So let's just get right in on this. So to start off, I've just got this like robe. It's a robe that we got from Savon's but I use it as a jacket. It's really soft. It also like sticks to everything, but it just kind of sits there. This also just sits there when I'm not wearing it because I don't want to have to hang it up. I've got my really beautiful jacket from Sugar Thrills. Whoa. It is very beautiful. I love it so much. It is one of my favorite, if not my most favorite jacket that I own. It's just very soft and it sets right here at the beginning. It's kind of weird. Okay, I have rainbow and then white and then rainbow and then purple. Don't question me. This this one just belongs at the end. I like to come in to color. Next off, we have the one and only infamous Bunny Reese from Lazy Oaf. Oh my gosh, I spent so long looking on Depop trying to get my hands on this piece. I finally got it. I cried. I also don't have any pictures in this yet, so that is a goal for this year to get some pictures in my Lazy Oaf Bunny Reese because they're heckin' adorable. I've got just a Hot Topic t-shirt. It's got Eerie on Ice on it. Sorry, I'm a nerd. I also have a shrine of them that I'm not gonna talk about right now. It's not up in my room because, you know, it's not. <laughs> Next off I have the cap overalls from Forever 21. Got them last year. I've got this white dress from Garage. I'm not gonna go over like everything because some of it's boring and some of it was in last year's wardrobe tour. This literally plain white dress that goes under this dress because the dress that's from Garage was really see-through. I've got this like rainbow floral jacket that I thrifted. I want to do another thrift haul video. They're super fun and you can find a lot of cool stuff. I've got this shirt from Happy Monday. I did a haul. If you didn't see that video, go give it a peek. I got a bunch of their shirts and they were originally all hanging up, but then I realized that they were taking up lots of space and I had things, other things that I wanted to hang up. I've got this rainbow t-shirt from Forever 21. This absolutely beautiful, beautiful, also found on Depop, Lazy Oaf heart dress. It's very like oversized, it's very baggy, and I love that. It's very loose fitting. It's got the heart there, the pink collar, it's stripes, it's got fluffs on it right now, but it is just so pretty. Definitely like one of my favorite dresses I own. Love it so much. We've got another rainbow top from Forever 21. Ooh, very nice. The top from Sugar Thrills I got the other day. Super cute. I had a haul on this recently. Go give it a peek. Another rainbow top from Forever 21, this rainbow sweater. We've got the WC <laughs> cardigan and sweater. I couldn't pick which one I wanted, so I got both but they're just like the beautiful pastel rainbow cardigan and sweater. Oh my gosh, it was definitely worth it. They took forever to get here, but they're like my favorite sweaters and I just love them so much. The next item is a dress from Bone Chance Collections. They're absolutely beautifully made. They come like lined very well. And it's just so beautiful. The like little button on the back is a little, oh, can we see it? It's a little flower and it's so sweet. 
This was from their Halloween collection, I think. It was like Crayola or whatever, but it was so cute. It's a pastel, it's a rainbow. We love it. I've got another shocker rainbow shirt from Forever 21. Oh my goodness. I've got two different kinds of overalls also from Forever 21 that I will be doing a cheeky Valentine's Day lookbook with. I actually got them after their Valentine's Day season last year, so it was really neat to be able to get them on sale because I love a good sale. And then I have the tops that will go with those looks. This one and this one. Ooh, this one just has hearts on it. And this one says cool vibes only, which I also wore on Canada Day as well last year. Moving on to the very end of our red section. This was a dress that I ordered from Forever 21 online. It's just got really cute strawberries and I wasn't able to wear it last year because when it came in, it was like right at the end of summer, right when it was starting to get cold. So I was really sad because I really wanted to wear it, but I didn't get a chance to wear it. But this year there will be cute pictures in a strawberry dress is happening. <laughs> Moving on to the pink section, which goes from like here to here. Actually, that's not that bad. I think my rainbow section's bigger. No, rainbow, white. No, it's probably the biggest section. All right. First off, we have the Forever 21 Care Bears top. Super cute. It's a staple. This shirt I literally got from the kids section at H&M. I fit the biggest size. However, I did have to cut the tank top off because it was one piece, but I made it so that it wasn't. And the tank top's kind of falling apart right there, but whatever, I just wanted the over part. That's the only part I wanted. And it's super cute. I really love it. I got this beautiful sweater from Japan in WC last year. I'm really hoping they have this sweater still when I go back this year because I want to get it in like the blue, the purple, and the yellow. It's just, I wear this sweater so much and it's definitely a staple and I just, I want it in other colors. This is the cardigan you guys saw from last year. This one, oh, this is my like schoolgirl-esque dress from WC. It's super cute, comes with little ties. It's got a cinched waist and it's just really cute and it's got like the back part. It's like a casual thing and I love it because I can also wear it in the winter with tights and I'm not cold because I work in a mall. So it's like the best of both worlds. Next off is these really cute overalls that I got from Yes Style. They just remind me of like a really precious innocent picnic. It's got a little design here. It has pockets. It's super cute. I love it a lot. That should probably be like the beginning of my pink section because it's kind of got red on it. I've got, oh this was so new. They came out with a dinosaur collab WC and I snatched this up so quickly. I had originally gotten the backpack of the little yellow triceratops as well, but then the person emailed me and told me they were sold out. And so I did get a refund on it, but I was really sad because I really wanted it. Another dress from Bone Chance Collections. This kind of just reminded me of the movie Clueless. It was also part of their Halloween edition. And of course it's lined, it's beautiful. The just, I love it so much. It's got the straight across cut, which I think is really cute. It goes really sweet with some of my blazers. It's just a really nice staple. And I've been trying to experiment more with like black in my wardrobe. I've got this top from Forever 21, which I actually think is a pajama top, or it was supposed to be, but I think that's really dumb, because these parts right here are really scratchy, so I don't know why you'd want to wear that to bed, but, like, I just want everything, okay? It's everything sparkly, at least. After that, we have another Bone Chance dress. This dress is actually lopsided, and it bothers me every time I wear it, but it's still so beautiful, and it just reminds me of Japan so much. I'm hoping I'm gonna bring this one to Japan and get some cute pictures in it. However, I'm still undecided. Maybe after this wardrobe tour is done, give me some suggestions on what you think I should bring to Japan. I don't know, cause I have like so many different ideas of what I wanna bring with me, but at the same time, I wanna bring like maybe two outfits and then just buy the rest there, cause TBH, that's what I'm probably gonna do anyways. <laughs> The next dress you saw in my last tall, I got this and I thrifted it. It was also the very first, 
It was also the dress that I wore on my very first day at Claire's. I have a picture of it somewhere, maybe I'll put that in the video. I've got just this shirt from Forever 21, another shirt from Happy Monday, it's super sweet. I've got this dress that I bought off of a secondhand Lolita Facebook page and it was actually brand new, she got it and it didn't fit and then she bought it again and she just wanted to sell the smaller size and I was like, oh, that's super cute. So it looks like this. I want to take this off somehow because I don't really like it, but I love the rest of the dress and it's like a little tea party and I just think it's so sweet. It's also very see-through, so that white dress that I showed you earlier is also underneath on that one as well. This is probably by far my favorite dress that I own. It is the Krissa Sparkles Sprinkle on Top dress. I cannot express how much I love this dress. I was on Depop and this girl was selling it for like super cheap, especially in Canadian, because uh, do the exchange in wheat for me. And I was so happy it came. It was in the like brand spanking new packaging, like as if Krista Sparkles had sent it to me. The tags were still on and everything. I love this dress so much. Krista Sparkles is absolutely amazing. She's an independent designer. Um, go follow her on Instagram. I love it so much. It's like my favorite dress and I just feel like a little cupcake in it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have an orange section. Who am I? <laughs> Uh, I got this from, wow, look at that, Forever 21 a few years ago. It's just like got shells on it, kind of reminds me of Ariel. This is a top that you probably saw in my last one. It is just yellow. I've got this yellow dress that is my YouTube uh, thumbnail. What is it called? Oh my gosh, a profile picture. That's what that is. That's this dress. Ding. Oh my gosh, I was out with Vic the other day and I thrifted this really pretty, like, floral yellow dress and it's like, very flowy and like when I twirl it does the twirl thing. This dress makes me so happy and like, you know, like, at thrift stores, it's generally a lot of old ladies or whatever. And I came out, because Vic and I, we need to show each other things. We're girls. I'm like, I want to look how hot you look in that dress that you picked. And like, look how hot I look in the dress I picked. And so we came out, and I came out in this dress. And all the old ladies that were like in line or waiting for their other daughters, granddaughters, to try on their clothes were like, oh my gosh, you look so good in that. I hope you're going someplace warm. And I'm like, I'm going to Japan in the summer pretty much. And they're like, oh my gosh, it looks, it looks looks amazing, you have to get it, it's, you have to, it was destiny. So I ended up getting it because all their clothing was 50% off. Um, I just thought I wanted to tell that story because it's really cute and I really love it. <laughs> Going into my little section of green here, oh, I've got, well this is like green and yellow, this shirt that I got from Forever 21 last year, just like a nice shirt. It says pleasure on it. Don't make that weird. I know some of you are watching you. I've got this St. Patty's Day shirt, which I found at Forever 21 for like $5 in their clearance section. And I also got a skirt that matches this that was in their clearance section. So I'm like ready and ripping to go for St. Patty's Day. I've got like one look for it, but it's super cute. I like it. This shirt, which you guys would have seen last year, it's just my panda shirt. I've got my donut tank top, which you also would have seen last year. I've got this blue jacket, which I love a lot. I got this really super cute cloud sweater from Yes Style. I've really been loving like Yes Style, Uvimi, Unzi. All of them are really, really cute, and you can get a lot of cute pastel fashion. Speaking of Uvimi, I got this really cute dress. It's very like fairy K, delicate, like very dressed down Lolita. Um, my favorite part is that this can come off so you can wear it on top of other things. Whereas the bottom part just reminds me of like an innocent little picnic. I wore this when I was doing a picnic with Amber and Hazel in the summer. I love those girls so much, they're so sweet. Some empty hanger, which probably has I don't know, close somewhere. I try to put all my empty hangers in my closet so that I know where they are, but 
I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> I'm mad with myself. I've got another super cute top from Happy Monday Store. Also, she really reminds me of Cowdery from Your Lie in April, but if she had pink hair, can we see that? Are we seeing it? Right? Okay? I'm not just crazy. It's, it's true. This dress I got on Depop. I got it for a steal. I had been looking at this dress on Depop for a while and a bunch of different sellers were selling it for like, oh god, like 200 US, 160 US. I found this for like 60 Canadian and I almost like peed myself. I was so happy and so shook. It was a medium. It is like ever so slightly too big on me, but like Lazy Elf's supposed to fit loose, okay? The rest of it fits fine. It is the cutest freaking dress ever. It is so soft. The little bear, his little ears. I just, I love this dress so, 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 so much. I think it's just, it's so sweet. And it, does it have pockets? I'm pretty sure it does. It doesn't. It does! Oh my gosh, it has pockets. I totally forgot that I own this dress. Anyways, it is Super super cute. Definitely another favorite piece I own. It's right up there with the Christmas Sparkles dress. <laughs> this dress you would have seen last year. I got this in England like what would have been five years ago now. I got it at a Primark! Woohoo! Along with these overalls which I thrifted a few years back as well. They're super small and I don't know why I don't get rid of them. Like I just I love the color so much but they like give me unbelievable toe of animal with humps so I should probably just get rid of these because they're mucho small unless I can like adjust the straps and make them longer but I don't know we'll see maybe that'll be another project for this year making them not give me lumps of animal with humps <laughs> I got this at where did I get this that doesn't help I think I got this at like an urban planet urban behavior urban I don't know. They're all the same company, but they just change the name constantly and it's really confusing. I think I got this last year. I don't know. It's a really cute top. I actually got this for a video um, where I copied Kawaii YouTubers Instagram pictures. I'm currently actually working on the second one because y'all were like, we want a second one. So stay tuned for that sometime this year. It will come out. This sweater from WC, oh gosh, which is pilling which makes me sad, but I wore it a lot throughout the Christmas season because it is super warm. It is from their dinosaur collaboration. Ooh, look at all the dinosaurs. They're so cute. And I got it in lavender because I thought, hey, I'm getting all the rest of this in like rainbow and pink. I should mix it up a bit. This like dungry overall dress that I got from Yes Style. You can get it from UV Me and Unzi as well, but I'm pretty sure I got this one from Yes Style. It's super cute. This part is detachable, which I found out scarily when I unboxed it because the cherries just like fell and I thought I broke it and it was really sad, but it's okay. These tops I got from Japan this year from ACDC Rag. This super cute one, which Lindsay Bluebird and I share and we twin. So also she's really sweet. Go check out her channel. I got this one as well, which is a cute little cat one. I just thought it was so sweet. I also was really tempted to get like a big one for my dad, but he said no, so I didn't. <laughs> this jacket I also got from ACDC Rag in Japan. I just thought it was so sweet. It's like, little carousel almost, and blue and purple, and then this part, the back, if we can kind of see it, it's shining a lot right now. It says ACDC rag on it, but it's just so sweet and is the most beautiful pastel bomber jacket I have ever seen in my entire little being. I've got the Lazy Elf Lester blah, 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 blah. Esther Loves You Valor Tea. I also hunted down this forever. I ended up getting it on a secondhand Facebook group for like brand new and it is a little small, but like it's stretched out and it's fine now. But it's so cute and this sleeves, this part especially, the pink part, is just the softest dang thing. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that little bun. So cute. And then I've just got a plain striped tee. Can we see it? Ooh, a plain striped tee. Oh gosh. <laughs> plain striped tee. This sweater, which I got in Japan, that just says, love you, which I got from WC Shock. 
And then the last few things I got, I got this slip dress from Sugar Thrills, which I haven't actually been able to wear yet. One, because it's been like freezing. Two, because it feels so delicate and I feel like I'm gonna rip this part off. So I just, it, she's delicate and I don't want to break her. And then this was actually something I got on Amazon in like early high school and it actually didn't fit me when I got it. And then I kid you not, I was thrift store shopping and I found the exact same thing, the one that I'm holding, like two sizes smaller, which is what I needed, in a thrift store. And so I snatched it up, but it is just this beautiful like lavender blue and pink romper. So I snatched that up from the thrift store. That is it for right here. Let us move on to the tubs and dresser. Okay, so now that we're down here, I've got my drawers here. I actually got these from Walmart for like, I don't know, 11 bucks each. And Vic helped me that day because I was like, Vic, I'm gonna get these. There was like three different colors. I'm not gonna get into it. Uh, basically, I just grabbed pastel paper and I put in front of things to make them look super cute and colorful. But basically in this, oh, nope, nope, okay. Over here is the more keep to myself drawers. Over here, we can play with a little bit. So in here, I think these are just like socks, like the little tiny socks, nothing too interesting. I've got belts and belts in there. And then I think, oh yeah, I got swimsuits. I got this really cute swimsuit from Walmart last year because they said to bring one for our, our trip to Japan and it's high-waisted and it's really pretty, but I wasn't able to wear it, but I think it's really sweet and maybe I'll do like a photo in that this year, but it is super cute. Then over here, I've got long socks that are darker, even though all of these are like light because I have a lot of light socks, but the darker ones are mostly in here. Then all the light socks, which is like really full at the moment. I've got my striped ones, my other ones. I've got rainbow ones in there somewhere, but like lots of light socks. Oh no, there we go. And then all my foot socks here. So I got these from Forever 21 the other day. Aren't they just the cutest? And these are all my ankle socks and my pushing ones and just all the plain ankle socks. My dresser here, I just have a few bags hanging off of them just cause I like, oh gosh, the look of some bags being hung. I've got over here most of my, if not all of my Lolita dresses, plus my travel kimono, which I got in Japan last year. I've got my winter grad dress right there. This pink dress, which I thrifted. And then yeah, all of my Lolita dresses that I got in Japan. I got this one. This is more like a costume that I got on Amazon, but they're really pretty and I really like them. <laughs> First drawer is all of my like pastel tops that I like to wear. I've got them folded like Japanese style so I can like flip through them like a record. I just really like that because then I can kind of see. I've got my tops from Forever 21. I think that's Amazon. Those are thrifted. Forever 21 and then like Happy Monday all there. And then on this side, I've got all my blouses. So I've got my pink one, white one, beigey one, um, white, 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 blue, and then more tops from Happy Monday. And then this really cute top, which I wore to the club on my 19th birthday. And that was quite an experience. <laughs> The next door down is more of my darker aesthetic. I started a new Instagram because I said I was going to. If you want to go check it out, I will leave it in the description as well. It's where I've been posting more of my pictures from Japan that aren't heavily filtered, made to look pink, and where I will be posting more photos in this kind of clothes. So it will have also like dark, cute clothes because they just aren't working on my main Instagram account. But I've got like some rainbow things, like I still love rainbow even in the dark side. This should be in my pastel thing, but I think, I don't know, I like it here. This is a baseball top I literally got in middle school. Um, I love this shirt, it's just like a striped sweater. Um, these are like men's tops, but I love them. Sorry, I'm kind of edgy, they're like skulls, and that's a skull Marilyn Monroe. I don't know, I think it's really cute. And then over here, this is a top I thrifted. This is also a men's tank top, but I use it as a dress. I am that small, my apologies. 
my Mickey Mouse top, some tank tops and stuff that I got from Forever 21, shocker, a Sailor Moon top that I got from Ardeen's, some crop tops that I don't know how old are and probably don't fit, a dress and the dress I got from YesStyle. I love this dress so much. I wore it so much in Christmas time. It's so cute. Do -do -do. Oh gosh. Moving on to the third drawer, we've got all my sweaters. So I've got my pink one, mint, pastel lavender, color block panda, yellow, pegasus, literally plain plain, and then Amazon with the fitty fishy kissing the kitty. So cute. <laughs> And the next door down is my skirts, which are an absolute mess at the moment. I got this thrift shopping actually, and it is the cutest like bright yellow skirt, and I am so excited to wear it this summer. I've got a nice classic pleated white skirt, the Happy Monday Sailor Moon skirt. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to wear this. I like, I'm so scared to wear it out because I am such a sloppy eater and everything and I don't want to wreck it, but it's so beautiful. And like my favorite skirt, this skirt I got from Japan. It's a staple, it's just pink and pleated. Another pink pleated skirt. I got this one on YesStyle though. I ordered it in blue, but they didn't have it. So I had to get a refund on it, but hoping they might get it in stock again. And then a darker, pleated skirt. Super cute. This was actually sent to me by a subscriber and I cried. It's so pretty. I'm going to be doing a photo shoot with this coming soon. Maybe a lookbook. It is just so sweet. It's like got cherry blossoms on it. I love it so much. The infamous green skirt that goes with my St. Patty's Day top that also has the little thingy on it for the tag because I haven't worn it yet, but it's super cute. It's also a little bit too big, but I have belts to fix that. A crushed velvet blue skirt, another dark pleated skirt, and then the super cute cat skirt, which I got from YesStyle this year as well. It's a suspender skirt. It is so cute. <laughs> and the last drawer that I have here is where I keep all like my pants and my shorts. So I've got my jeans, I got my purple jeans, and then I think these are all just jeans there. Oh, there's a few pairs of leggings there, but I've got, this is actually a skirt, but it didn't fit. Actually, I could probably fit that in the skirt drawer. Um, it's super cute. It's also got a ketchup stain on it somewhere because I'm an animal, but it's super cute. I found it thrifting. It is like neon pink, but I love it. These Hello Kitty shorts, which are brand Hello Kitty and like the cutest block shorts ever. They're just so cute and like... Oh my gosh, I love them so much. I found them thrifting when I was out with Jennifer last summer and they were like super cheap. I am so excited. Just a pair of blue shorts. I've got the one and only American Apparel color block shorts, which I found actually on a Facebook trade shop group, which was awesome. Oh my gosh, like my favorite pair of shorts other than the Hello Kitty ones. They're so cute. I've got another that's a skirt, oh my gosh. Okay, well it is a suspender skirt which doesn't have the suspender things on it right now, but it's just white, it's classic, it's a staple. Another skirt, I don't know what's happening with me. Um, this I got from H&M like a long time ago. It's a maxi skirt, it's like too long for my body because I'm short, but it's really sweet and also really see-through. I have to wear a certain kind of underwear for that. These shorts I got from I can't even remember. I got them a long time ago, but they're really cute. And you know, a little bit of black never hurt anyone. Then I've got some leggings I got on Amazon. Some leggings I've bought in the Halloween store. Tights that I was gonna do for a Mavis cosplay that I had never ended up doing. More tights, and then yeah, these are just leggings, so. Ooh. All right guys, well that is it for part one of the wardrobe tour. There will be a part two and probably a part three. Part three might just be a bag collection, but I'll call it a wardrobe tour because I've got some shoes that I need to update and we've got some bags that I need to update. So I will see you next time for those. Bye!